Welcome. Today you have the rare opportunity to witness a part being manufactured on the Weiler E-Series Cycle Controlled Lathe. The Cycle Controlled Lathes are Weiler's flagship product line. They are highly adaptable lathes and very easy to program. During this short demonstration, you will see firsthand the precision of the E40 lathe as well as our user-friendly control panel interface. The Weiler interface guides you through the programming steps with simplicity and perfection, proving that there is a way to have fast and simple communication between man and machine. Our machinist Rudy has just completed running the E40 in the manual mode. We join Rudy as he makes the same part but utilizes the E40 in the programming mode. During the programming mode, there are several parameters that must be quantified prior to the actual cut of the part. There are three main steps in the process. One, defining the cycle mode. Two, setting the profile parameters. And three, running a simulation or execution of the part. So everything which has to do with the programming is going by the cycle mode. And I have a new part now that means a new workpiece. I will give a name to it. I will call it Demo. Now you have a manual where you can select from, yeah? Make an ISO program, drilling cycle, thread cutting, part of grooving. So I will select the cutting cycle. Let's say cutting cycle number one. Now I have to select a tool number. So that means I can have a look onto my tool catalog. And for the roughing passes, I will select tool number one. So I can go back, insert number one. Let's say longitudinal work. If not, so you can page through here and select whatever you want. I will do not a complete machining. I want to just do roughing with a two millimeter depth of cut, a starting point, a finishing allowance on my X and on my Z, giving cutting conditions means a cutting speed, 220, going with 0.3 on the roughing and 0.1 on the finishing pass. So this is a technology that means the control knows the way I want to do the job. Now I have to give my geometry information. So that means I have to put my contour starting on the X and Z0, going with an arc to diameter 20, minus 10, radius 10. You see two different solutions, a red and a blue one. So I have to pick one up, I will select number the red. Next move is a longitudinal one. Go into 20, a face line going up to 30, longitudinal again, 35, face to 40, longitudinal to 40, 49, doing a taper, 51, 135 degrees. Now I have the rough profile getting some radius here. Let's put a two and a half radius here. And on this edge, I will have a one and a half millimeter chamfer. So insert an undercut. Let's say zero, it's one and a half deep. It's five long, 30 degree. Now I'm finished with that. So we can have a simulation. Or we are ready to go, means we can execute the cycle.
roughing cycle is now finished. So now I have to do my finishing job. So I will put in a new cycle. I will call it number two. Give in a two number, which is two. Longitudinal, this is a finishing operation. Given a start point. I will leave no material on it. Increase cutting speed and reduce the feed. Okay, finished with that. Last job is thread cutting cycle. So you have the options about external thread or internal thread. We want to cut an external one. My tool is tool number six. Options about the type of cutting, constant chip cross section, constant infeed, I prefer that. The infeed should be done on the flank, giving a starting point, a finishing allowance for the last pass, my thread pitch, which is one and a half. The depths will be calculated automatically. Let's do six passes with 1,000 refs. Thread geometry, so my thread starts on diameter 20. No, it's on 30. On the Z it's 20. This is 30 again. And my shoulder is 35. That means I can go, let's say, to 34.5 on the Z. And the infeed angle should be 30 degrees. Going back, ready to execute. Pre-machine the undercut is finished. The real finishing pass, execute. Hit cycle start, turn the machine on, cycle start. Love and cycle end. Hit the cycle start, acknowledge tool change. So you can override the spindle speed while thread cutting. So if you get a little bit of chattering, that's pretty easy to minimize that. Now my thread is finished. As you have just seen, the Weiler E40 is an easy to use and is a highly adaptable cycle controlled lathe. The Weiler E series, with its intelligent D3 software interface, is quality, performance, and simplicity rolled into one. Do you like the idea of one machine being able to function as a manual lathe or a cycle controlled lathe? Do you produce one-offs and small quantities? Is it a challenge to find experienced machinists? Are you limited in salaries? Are you challenged with the need to reduce overall operating cost while maintaining quality parts and production? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then the Weiler E-Series Cycle Controlled Lays may be your solution. Contact us for further information or to locate a Weiler distributor in your area. One machine, many options. Weiler is precision and quality.